Hello guys, welcome to another episode. And today's topic is about simple to complex greenhouse structure. So, in our summary, we have simple greenhouse structure in China, different types of the crops grown in these greenhouses, complex greenhouse structure in China with different equipment stored inside, different experiment automation system with cooling system and also greenhouses for drying for the case of comparison between Tanzania and China we brought the same structure of simple greenhouses structure in Tanzania and the crop grown in this simple structure also complex greenhouse structure in Tanzania different greenhouse for drying simple greenhouse structure in china this is their low cost greenhouse chinese greenhouses for winter garden are used to unlock full potential of the sun and with energy efficient passive solar greenhouses grow warm season plants year around with little to no extra heating with some thoughtful design of growing fruits and vegetable out of the season can be accomplished by using and storing the energy from the sun. These features make it possible to grow crop year round with the solar energy alone. Even when it's freezing outside, otherwise it will be impossible with large energy inputs. Solar greenhouses are successful in China, where many thousands of such structures have been built in recent decades. This war created microclimates. That could offer 14 to 12 degrees higher than surrounding outside temperature. The Chinese greenhouses usually have three walls. Made of brick, make up north, east, and west of the. Only the south side of this greenhouse, made of transparent material, usually plastic, through the sun can shine. During the day, greenhouse capture energy from the sun in the same mass of the walls which can be released at night. The work also helped to broke the cold north wind, which uh, speed up the heat loss. At sunset, insulation sheet, usually made of straw, can be rolled out over the plastic to further throw the heat loss. This feature can keep the indoor temperature 80 degree more than outside temperature. In the summer, you can use these small windows in northern part to control temperature and air circulation like carbon dioxide, which is very important for plant. In this incentive made the solar greenhouse cornerstone of food production in central and in northern China. Solar greenhouses are make up the 50 total covered of greenhouses in China that they expected to cover at least 3.7 million acres by 2020. The first Chinese greenhouse was built in 1978. Technology really took off in 80 following the arrival of the transparent plastic frame. Not only the plastic film is cheaper than the grass, it also lighter and it doesn't require a strong weight bearing frame like it does, which make construction of this structure much less expensive. Since then, the design continually been improved. The structure has become deeper, taller, allowing sunlight to better distribute and that structure reducing temperature fluctuation. The grower also improving the thermal efficiency of these structures by opting modern insulation material in the wall. You can see here the concrete. Uh, this insulation can be also blanket, suited for most uh, environment, and also because of the straw mat become heavier with low insulation capacity when it's wet. The plastic film used in this greenhouse uh, continually be improved without in long life. So what type of crop grown inside? Mangbi. Why? Mangbi contain 60% of carbohydrates, 
and the, they are rich in protein and fat, vitamins and the other minerals. They also grow berry pepper, sometimes it called sweet pepper. Strawberry, which is excellent source of vitamin C grown in this greenhouse, also lettuce and more other leaf vegetables. Pumpkin nursery, horticultural crops grown inside of these metallic greenhouses, equipped with cooling, heating system, which support the crops even in the winter. They grow also lettuce. Uh, grapes greenhouses with the tall structures and also additional heating system. This house looks outside and the extraction material can be this black blanket. This is greenhouse work and myself. Grape farming with concrete box because this is a perennial that's why they put permanent post. Complex greenhouse structure and chine. So, this structure are proper design greenhouses with heating, cooling system, and light control system. It can be greenhouses fans with ventilation, shutters, automatic shade screen net, and a silver curtain. Evaporative cooling system, complete greenhouse misting system overhead spring irrigation misting to make sure your greenhouse is correct temperature you mean it for your plants you can open and across the curtain shed by just a single click to adjust the desired greenhouse condition the shed net on top and the curtain inside the greenhouse open the Curtain system sh for shading, energy saving. Curtain improved greenhouse crop environment. The shade screen for daylight control and an additional energy saving. Open and close curtain to control the temperature. Cooling parts. How cooling parts works. Cooling parts create a large amount of the surface area. That exposed to the uh, begin drawn into the greenhouse by exhausted fans, the reduction of air temperature only occur around the exhausted side of the cooling pad. This is the inner side of the cooling pad, and this is the back side of the cooling pad. Cooling pad only are not 100% efficient. Therefore, combination of greenhouse ventilation, fans, shade screen, curtain, misting is the way forward to achieve and maintain your greenhouse in any climate. The most greenhouse heating system commercial greenhouse is the heater. This is the grass greenhouses which transmit the light and the grass also is durability. The crop grown here are pot plants for decoration Stevia plants is a sugar substitute made from these leaves of stevia plants. Greenhouse gas experiments, extraction of this greenhouse, serving chickpea plants, making pots, mixing fertilizers for pot experiments preparing the soil, preparing the pots ready for experiment, sowing the maize, and this is the treatment and the plant measurement, where you measure plant height, leaf area, data correction, scouting, irrigation, outcomes the word for day feed pot demonstration root extraction 
measuring put and go another crop here is rice experiment tomato experiment where you can see tomato seed rings tomato in small pots tomato in large pots tomato flowering fruit set outcomes greenhouse for drying investing in drying machine is very expensive open sun during this is not hygienic that is how greenhouse solar is invented so the greenhouse solar used for drying have many names can be solar tunnel solar tents and improved solar tunnel dryer greenhouse drying technology used for various agriculture products drying different agricultural products crop dried in this greenhouse are superior quality color compared to the one who is drying in open sun which is not hygienic so this is it about then this is simple structure made of wood in tanzania and they are cheaper low cost effective what crops are grown you can see here with tomato farming with simple tech we also have these metal structures of different shape and the height tomato bag farming using the local bags demonstration in crypt technology This is the technology from Israel and the US. These are tomato crepes, cucumber and the green pepper farming. We got berry farming. We saw irrigation system. Here you can see the drip irrigation, the one installed here. Simple string uh, structure greenhouse. We also have some training. We got here English cucumber well managed cucumber and another technology which is yellow sticker for scouting of the insects can be deployed in this greenhouse this is the first part of simple greenhouse in tanzania let's jump to the complex greenhouse structure that have modern greenhouse nursery overhead sprinkler sweet melon and the cabbage seed rings this is a mega greenhouse structure which is complex one growing tomato with a series uh, of greenhouses where they grow varieties of paper long sweet paper we got these papers berry papers and uh, also this is the harvest also they grow sweet melon which yellow one inside they are white and they can see here and mask melon or the green melon you see inside they are yellow that is the big difference so this is english cucumber just said this is yellow sticker technology and again also we have this rose flower farming and this is spraying using these drums these drums is motorized sprayer and also you can see fans installed and you can see the connected uh, greenhouses with the modern irrigation system where it's self automated make farming very attractive so this is the greenhouse for drying for food processing and this one is for installed plant dryer where it's operated by coal to dry vegetable. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.